land is your land, and this land is my land. From the California to the New York Island, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land was made for you and me. Well, this is going to be quite an adventure, a very exciting morning. Welcome to the KCET Junk Storage Area, and here to give us a tour of this area. Introduce yourself to everybody, Sean. I am Sean Aminian, uh, Vice President and Chief Information Officer here. All right. Now, tell us what we're standing in front of. I didn't even know all of this stuff was here on our lot. Yes, we are standing next to a pile of very old computers, monitors, and engineering equipments that are gathered over the, over the last two or three years, and the technology moves so fast that every two or three years we have to get rid of them. What all and have we got here? They look like, what are these things? These look like they'd be something from the engineering yes, department. Yes, they, uh, they are actually monitors uh, that they look at, uh, different signals that we receive every day mm -hmm. from the different transmitters. And these, and these are, are old, old computer uh, screens. They are. They're at least two or three years old. Now, why are they down here in a big, dusty pile instead of being used somewhere? You know, uh, we used to actually donate some of these, but some of these are so old that nobody wants them, and I don't know what to do with them. The technology is totally so old that nobody would even no. want these if you, if you offered them to nobody. them. Nobody. All right, now, Bob, come on over here. Introduce yourself to everybody. Hi, I'm Bob Shoemaker. I'm trades facility manager. All right, now you have to load all this stuff up, get it out of the buildings, and bring it down here. It's a real pain, isn't it? Yes, it is. <laughs> and like Sean said earlier, it's a lot ongoing thing all the time. What do we have down here? Do I mean, this looks like a huge amount of material down here. All of this material has been down here in, within two-year period. So that's how fast the technology is changing every day. That is amazing, and I'm not sure most people realize that technology changes that quickly. That's a huge expense to have to go through all of this every couple of years. Every couple of years, yeah. I mean, this is an ongoing process. Uh, what we do is we do some hand-me-downs as much as we can, and then later on, um, it's not usable. So yeah. what are we doing, just stacking it down here? How big does this pile have to get before you're going to do something about it? Well, <laughs> when we can find someone to come and get it, we get rid of it. But most of the time, it's, it's really hard to get rid of this stuff because yeah. of the new laws. It's yeah. hard to unload yeah. it, isn't it? Yeah, there are, um, it contains material that has to be disposed properly, so we can't just dump it. All right, but I happen to have the answer. John, come in here. This guy isn't just here by chance. Right. Introduce you yourself in? to everybody, John. I'm John Upton. I'm CEO of Easy Waste Incorporated. Easy Waste Incorporated, and that has a direct tie-in to our dilemma here at KCET and other companies' dilemmas mm -hmm. all over California. Absolutely. Uh, we've been in business for about a year and a half, and we specialize in the collection and the responsible disposal of electronic waste materials, which includes everything from monitors, computers, servers, printers, fax machines, anything basically would be considered consumer or office electronics. All the old stuff that's out of date that can't just be thrown away because there's a law that keeps us from just dumping it in the Dempsey dumpster. That's right. The uh, Consumer Electronics Recycling Act of 2003 makes it illegal to dump monitors, TV sets, and various forms of electronics into uh, landfills anymore because there, there's so much lead content and so many toxins within uh, those materials that it seeps into the groundwater table so and causes you're, pollution. You're here this morning to take this off our hands. Yes, we are. And when you first gazed upon all of this, did you start to salivate? Do you get excited when you come up and see something like this? This, this gets you excited, doesn't <laughs> well, it? Well, I'll tell you what, this is, this is a typical <laughs> size job that we do. We target uh, me medium size and large size businesses. We also have a con consumer component. But yes, this is, this is right in our wheelhouse. We enjoy this type of uh, work. And uh, we work uh, with a, uh, a recycling uh, facility that will, you'll, you'll see a little later, we'll crush this stuff into fine powder. And, oh, uh, yeah, we're going to follow this we'll, stuff. We'll but that. now, usually you charge. This is the way yes. you make your money. You Absolutely. charge companies right. to come and take this off their hands. We do. We have a, uh, our own equipment, our own truck, our own crews. And we will go into the bowels of a building such as this <laughs> and, uh, and pull whatever, out, uh, whatever you have out and, uh, and then recycle it. They're going to take it off our hands for happy. nothing. I'm very happy. Are you happy. excited? I'm excited. Yes, very. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is great. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to load this stuff up on the truck, and we are going to literally follow. Let's just say we're going to follow this one right here. That's perfect. We're going to follow this right here. What do you call this exactly? Well, that's a 14-inch monitor, a uh, Dell monitor, and uh, it's got a CRT in it, and it probably has anywhere from four to six pounds of lead in it. So and we're going to follow this monitor mm -hmm. and see what happens after it leaves KCET. Absolutely.